so uh, guys first of all uh, the certification that is associated with data science on microsoft azure is called the dp100 certification so uh, if you look at the certification pathway you would uh, see that first of all is the fundamentals that is az900 but again that is a very uh, optional kind of a certification even if you don't have that but you have uh, have the knowledge you don't need that certification you can directly go at the associate level of certifications where exists the microsoft azure data science uh, data scientist associate certification this is what the badge looks like and this is what you should be targeting uh, if you are planning to have a career in data science in microsoft azure so this is uh, okay uh, shake Shaik Wali, I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I'm really bad with names, but yeah, the trainer that just uh, you know taught you guys till now, that would be the instructor for the course as well. I will be coming down onto the course as well. So again, have any questions? Please do put them down below. But again, we didn't wanted this particular live session to be only about the course, but more about the learning and to to give you guys an introduction of the industry, the things that are happening new, and what is the importance of data science that is what was the main goal but again if you guys have any questions regarding the course please do make sure you put them down i'll be more than happy to answer those okay now do dp100 certification who this certification is for actually number one and again guys when i'm saying dp100 this is a certification by microsoft azure only this is not a certification from k21 academy this is a certification that is again the exam is taken by microsoft the result is published by microsoft itself and you get the certification directly issued by microsoft also the industry is very high on the people who have these certifications because these certifications gives you a validation to the skills that you possess now the candidates who are interested in machine learning and ai this is the perfect certification for them it professionals who have a thorough knowledge of microsoft azure people working as data scientists and candidates who should uh, should have subject matter experience applying data science and machine learning to implement uh, implement and learn machine learning workloads on microsoft azure so these are the four different types of people who this particular certification is perfect for now the exam overview that is the certificate so every certification that microsoft offers there is a dedicated exam to it you first need to clear that exam and that is the time when you actually get the certification so in this the entire certification exam is divided into four different parts the first one is manage azure resources for machine learning which constitutes of 25 to 30 percent of the uh, entire uh, exam then run experiments and train models that is from 20 to 25 percent of the exam deploy and operationalize machine learning solutions that is the 35 to 40 percent of the exam and in the end implement responsible machine learning that would constitute around 5 to 10 percent of the labors of the exam moving on why certification is important i have been saying that from the very start of the webinar so a lot of you might have the question key okay we get it so certification is important but why is that the answer to that question is at the very moment because there are so many jobs out there the competition has also increased a lot as hr today an hr professional today or a hiring manager today get a, gets like thousands of resumes and cvs every day but how do you stand out how do they also you know kind of look for uh, candidates that have much more higher percentage of eventually getting the job what they look for is what we call as certification badges or certifications on a, a particular resume or cv when you look at these two different cvs i would i want to ask you if you were to be in a hiring professional shoes which one out of the cvs would you pick put it in the chat window guys again i'm looking at the chat window as we go i want your opinion which one would you pick the left cv or the right cv yes absolutely you everybody i i see everybody would pick the right side cv because again why why is that because it has certifications on it now what is the rule of a certification like i mentioned before it gives a credibility this to the skills that you possess for example i can tomorrow go out and say okay let's take an example of driving a car 
everybody can drive a car but what validates your skill of driving a car a valid license so that is what a certification also plays a role in your career let's suppose on um, in this particular course it's not his opposition actually you train and you get all the skills you practice as well to get the practical knowledge of implementation data science on azure then you go for the certification and you'll clear the certification you will only be able to clear the certification because you have the skills right so that particular way your skills are being validated by microsoft as well and that validation is good enough for quite a lot of companies out there because a lot of them have a criteria that we will only interview you or we will only let you you know get on to the stage two of the hiring process if you have that certification to your name so that is the reason why in today's date having certifications is so very much important on your cv so guys this was our expert and if in case you missed upon anything and you could not understand any of the technical keywords then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure data scientist certification demo along with some question and answers that is dp100 and if you want to gain access to this free course then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash dp102 under this course you'll be learning about why to learn azure cloud and some of the amazing market trends for machine learning you'll be getting a certification roadmap you'll be working on real life demos as to how to create ml workspace in azure you'll be learning about training and deploying a classification model in azure and machine learning and what not so if you really want to enroll for the free course then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash dp102. After that, you'll be seeing a page like this. You just have to click on book your free seat now and select your event date according to your availability. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be getting this kind of page where you'll be seeing this kind of URL on your extreme right. Save that URL, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.